In this video, we're going to have a look at the exponential form of complex numbers, and in particular, we're going to prove that e to the power of i theta is identical to cos theta plus i sine theta. Now, to do that, we're going to have to use the Maclaurin expansion of e to the power of x, which I've taken from the formula booklet here. So what we're going to do, we're going to use that to expand e to the power of i theta. So let's do it. So instead of e to the x, expanding e to the i theta, well, it's just a substitution where instead of x, we're going to replace that with e to the power of i theta. So it's equal to 1 plus i theta plus i theta squared over 2 factorial plus i theta cubed over 3 factorial plus i theta to the power of 4 over 4 factorial plus and going on forever i theta to the 5 over 5 factorial and I'm just doing enough terms to illustrate what I want to illustrate i theta to the 6 over 6 factorial and so on so let's go about expanding that out now or rather simplifying it so I've got 1 plus i theta well i squared theta squared i squared is minus 1 so it's minus theta squared over 2 factorial then plus i cubed theta cubed well i cubed is i squared i minus 1 times i so it's take i theta cubed over 3 factorial plus so i at the power of 4 is just 1 so that becomes plus theta to the power of 4 over 4 factorial plus i theta to the 5 over 5 factorial take theta to the power of 6 over 6 factorial you can check all these if you want and so on so what I'm going to do now is separate out the real and imaginary parts so that's 1 take theta squared over 2 factorial plus theta to the power of 4 over 4 factorial take theta to the 6 over 6 factorial and so on so there's the real part and the imaginary part we get theta take theta cubed over 3 factorial plus theta to the 5 over 5 factorial and so on so all the even powers are real all the odd powers are imaginary now if I compare what we've just written to the Maclaurin expansion as per the formula sheet for sine x and cos x I can see that what I'm highlighting green here is just the standard Maclaurin expansion for cos x what I'm highlighting blue here is the Maclaurin expansion for sine x so this bit here in green is equal to cos x this bit here the imaginary part in blue is equal to sine x therefore I can conclude that e to the i theta is identical to cos theta plus i sine theta and this is a really significant result in maths because it allows us to write complex numbers in a more indices friendly form so let's go through what this actually means so when we write a complex number in the form r e to the i theta well we've just proved that this is identical to r times cos theta plus i sine theta and the significance of this is that when it's written in this form we can instantly just read off the argument and the modulus so the modulus so where r is the modulus and theta is the argument of the complex number so let's put this into context using the argand diagram 
So let's say I want to represent the imaginary number 2 in this new exponential form. Well, I can see that the argument of this number here in radians is pi over 2. And I can see that the modulus of this number, the length, the distance from the origin, is 2. So the modulus of my complex number is 2. And the argument for my complex number is pi over 2. Now an ordinary CIS form, I'd write that as z equals 2 lots of cos of the argument plus i sine of the argument. But from the proof that we've just done, we know that an equivalent and more compact form we can write it in is 2 e to the power of i pi over 2. Let's say I want to do a different complex number. Let's say I want this one here. So 2 take 2i. So I'll just write that down. This one's 2 take 2i. Well, I can see that the argument here is minus pi over 4. And I can see that the distance from the origin, so 2 down, 2 along. So the modulus is the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared equals root 8. And we discover that the argument was minus pi over 4. So that means we can write it in the ordinary CIS form. So root 8 cos of the argument plus i sine of the argument. Or in this new compact form, root 8 e to the power of i, then the argument minus pi over 4. So moving on now, I just want to give an example of how fantastic this form of complex numbers is, this new exponential form we've discovered. And I'm going to use exponential form of complex numbers to calculate what the value of i to the power of i is. Because currently, raising an imaginary number to an imaginary power doesn't really make sense. But what I'm going to do is convert this i here into exponential form. So on the argon diagram, i is here. And we can see that it has argument pi over 2 and the modulus of i is 1. Therefore, i is identical to e. So 1, lot of e, but I'm not going to write the 1, we're not going to bother with that, to the power of i pi over 2. So that is an equivalent representation to the number i in exponential form. So now that we've discovered that i is e to the i pi over 2, e to the i pi over 2 to the power of i, then using index laws we get e to the power of i squared pi over 2 equals e to the power of pi over 2. So we've just proved that i to the power of i is actually equal to this real number, e to the power of pi over 2, which I think is pretty brilliant. So now let's try 2 to the power of i. Well, 2 can be rewritten as e to the power of log 2 to the power of i equals, using index laws, e to the power of i log 2 and this is a complex number again in exponential form you can see that the modulus i.e. the number which is times by the exponential form is 1 and the argument is log 2 so written in CIS form it becomes 1 cos 
the vlog 2 plus I sign of log 2 converting that into an ordinary complex number cos of log 2 is 0.769 so it's approximately equal to 0.769 plus I and sine of log 2 0.639 so we've just proved that 2 to the power of i is approximately equal to 0.769 plus i 0.639 using the exponential form of complex numbers for more videos like this subscribe to our youtube channel and to find out more about our skype tuition and revision courses go to a-levelmathsrevision.com